So were you able to get your device to light? No? Well, let's talk about some of the common mistakes when using a breadboard. Mistake number one. Is your LED really in the rows that it's supposed to be in or is it a row off? Check that. Make sure that long leg of the LED is in the same row as the red wire of the battery pack and the short leg of the LED is in the same row as the black wire of the battery pack. Be very careful as you connect your circuit. It's easy to make that mistake. Mistake number two. Oftentimes, people don't push their devices as far in the breadboard as they can go. And remember, in order to get these devices to actually power on, metal needs to come in contact with metal. And if that doesn't happen, nothing will happen. And mistake number three, devices that have polarity need to be orientated the right direction in order for them to turn on. Electricity must be flowing through them in a certain direction. Otherwise, they won't turn on. And when you're using a light emitting diode, an LED, if you're using a diode, electricity must flow through this device in a certain direction. For an LED, the power line, the red wire of your battery pack, has to be connected to the long wire of the LED. And the black wire or the ground wire of your battery pack has to be connected to the short leg of your LED. If you were to turn them around, as you see here, I'm going to push these all the way in the breadboard, the LED doesn't light. But if you were to flip it around and connect it the right way with the long wire of the LED in contact with the positive terminal of the battery and the short leg in contact with the negative terminal, then your device powers on. So make sure you have everything orientated the right way. Hey, why can't I plug this wire into the breadboard? That's because the holes on this breadboard are too small. In order for you to be able to plug wires into these holes on the breadboard, 22 gauge wires is what you need in order to be able to fit them into these tiny holes on the breadboard. So the wires you'll be using in your project, you got three options. You can use wires that have a male end and a female end. Here's an example of that. Male end here, female end here. The male end is actually able to insert into the female end. So if you wanted to make, say, an extension cord, you could do that using two separate jumper wires, one with the male end and one with the female end. Then you got male, male wires. They both come with rods sticking out of their ends. Or you got female, female end wires, which both have openings at their ends. Lastly, if you ever come across some wires that are kind of loose and stranded, they call these stranded wires. There is no way you'll be able to plug these into the breadboard in their current state just because they're so loose. So what you'll need to do with your stranded wire in order to be able to insert them into the breadboard, you need to take that stranded wire and twist it as tightly as you can. Just keep on twisting. Twist, 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 twist. And what you'll notice is that all those strands of wire will end up forming one solid piece of wire. You can take that solid piece of wire Still not that easy to work with, but it's much easier to work with than it was before. Take that solid piece of wire, put it over one of the holes of your breadboard, grab some tweezers, and use those tweezers to incrementally stuff that wire down into the breadboard. And that wire is just as good as any other wire that you would be using. Just keep in mind the simple rules of using a breadboard, which is inserting your devices as far in the breadboard as they can go, orientating your electronic devices so that current flows through them the way it needs to, and being very careful not to plug your devices in rows that you did not intend to. And that does it, people. Now you know exactly how to use a breadboard. If you found this video entertaining or feel that it made learning robotics slightly easier, do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.